Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. So today we're going to do a chat time and today I want to talk about the new Xeno 2. So you've probably seen stuff about this before. I've just got things wrote down on a piece of paper so don't forget because I'm not as young as I once was. So there's loads of specs. I'm going to put some pictures in one of these corners. I can never tell which way is my left and which is right when I'm looking at the camera and I always get it wrong. So you're going to see some pictures of some different things, battery placement and stuff like that. So the biggest, one of the biggest things on this and the best thing for me is running on the 4S battery now. So the 4S battery and the fact that it's got different motors, they're going to give it a better flight time. So because it's 4S, you, you can lower that milliamp hour rating down, you're going to get more power and in essence you should get more flight time. So they've gone, now saying it's going to be 33 minutes in a windless condition, so hopefully 23s, 24s, which will still be a massive improvement on the one. It's now got 4K 60 frames per second, which is a massive advantage of course. The one thing I don't think it says in here, I don't think it says a bit rate. I might be wrong, if you know the bit rate let me know in the comments down below because that can make a massive difference. It's overall flying weight is 929 grams, so it's heavy. It's not light at all. Um, it's a lot heavier than most of the other things on the market, like the Femi X8 SE, but to be fair, that's not really gonna bother me too much. It's still got your three axis mechanical gimbal. You can do, oh, sorry, I do, I do apologize, I've just read it, 100 megabits per second, 4K 60, so that's brilliant. It's got a Sony 1 over 2.3 sensor, which is great, which is, tends to be what the kind of current thing is. Big thing for this is it now has an optical flow sensor. It doesn't have optical avoidance, doesn't bother me in the slightest, but it has an optical flow sensor. It has what looks like an optical avoidance panel at the front like the x 8 he has, but it doesn't actually have that. I'm just going to skip over a lot of this stuff. If you want to see a proper full in-depth analysis on this, if you go watch QC Guy's channel, he's got a couple of videos on this now, I think. Um, so nip over and watch his video, he's very in-depth on it and he's only, he's got one pre-ordered. I must say the pre-ordered price is ridiculously good. I think I checked this morning, don't quote me on this, it's £309 UK. If you want to order that from Gearbest on a pre-order, that's with one battery and I think it's 368 If you want to order it with two batteries in the bag. Very, very good price. I am not pre-ordering one of these. I will be getting one when it comes out, but I'm going to wait. I'm in no particular rush. Time of the year is not great for me because it's Christmas and that's the one thing I would say is why are they releasing this, well not releasing the drone, but having a pre-order and fully all the information out in December. Seems a bit strange, maybe we should have done this in September. However, I'm not going to knock a new quad and I'm really excited about this one, I think this one was fantastic. Like I said, I'm not going to do any more talking about that nip over to QC Guy's channel. It's a big plug for him at the minute and watch his video, very in depth. And they are in depth, some people say they're a bit long, but I enjoy watching them and go over and see what he's got to say about it. The other thing I want to talk about is this. This is the Mavic Mini 2. So I did my review on this and I did an initial impression and then I did a review. And um, I got a bit of hate on this. Well, not so much hate, but people having a go saying, how can you say that about it? It's the most perfect drone ever made, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I never said once it's for the bad drone. I don't remember saying that, I've watched a video back and I never said it was a bad drone. What I said was, it's a capable drone that flies ridiculously well because it's a DJI product with an okay camera and I stick to the fact it's got an okay camera, the bit rate's too low for me, it's got an okay camera, but the main thing about it is it flies like a DJI. The things I've got an issue with is the app or more importantly the lack of camera features. And I'm, not, I'm gonna stick into that. Why did you not just make the app and put more camera features on? because you should be able to adjust the camera settings on this. And that's the only thing I said. I never said it was terrible. It's a decent drone. Would I buy one again if I had the chance? Probably no, I wouldn't. But, and that's because it doesn't do anything different. Forget it's 249 grams, I don't really care about that. Like I said many times, the law will change and this, will be, this won't be exempt anymore because it's got a camera on the front of it. I'd rather they made it a bit better and made things like this piece of rubber or plasticky thing in here, which, or a bit of sponge I think it is actually, which I don't think is the best thing in the world, why they didn't cover that in. But things like that have been done for weights where I should not bothered. 
That's all I've said about the drone. That's all I'm really going to say about it is I'm going to have a final conclusion on this after Christmas. I'm going to fly it a few more times. Um, see if my opinion changes towards the camera. Let's see if there's been some updates. Because the updates we've had have only been fly updates. You don't really notice, to be honest. To get rid of some bugs on the screen, which were never a problem to me anyway, because I just ignored them. So the third thing I want to talk about is copper. Well, I'm not really going to talk about it because I don't know enough about it. But I've watched quite a few videos recently, people doing videos on copper, and they clearly don't know enough about it either. It's scaremongering, because let's be sensible, we need to know what it is, how it works and everything like that. We can't just make videos blind like some people have done and say, this is going to happen or I might give up YouTube. And why would you do that? It's not going to affect me, people like me that have got under 50, 60,000 subscribers at all. We're not, you have to be in the world of the big subscribers to be bothered about the fact how much money you're going to lose on your advertisements. So, in saying that, because I don't know enough what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave a link to a video down below. I have linked that on my YouTube, uh, sorry, my YouTube, my Facebook page is yesterday, and it's a video by Dan TDM. If you don't know who Dan TDM is, he must have been living under a rock. He's got 22 million subscribers now. He basically does videos on Minecraft and other stuff. And like he says, he's not only for kids. I watch his videos. Um, he, he's a funny guy and he does videos. He's far more knowledgeable about copper. He spoke to solicitors. He's actually spoke to copper themselves. He spoke to people that know and he spoke to YouTube about it. He's also got another phone call with YouTube coming up. So watch his video. I'm going to link it down below. And you're going to get more sense out of what copper really means to you. Um, so, what's coming? So next year is going to be exciting, isn't it? We've got the Mavic 3 coming, that's a definite. It's going to come, we don't know what features it's going to be. And we've got the Autel Evo 2, which looks fantastic. I had an Evo, as you well know, up until recently. It was great, the only reason I sold it is because I had a lot of drones. And I was never flying them. So, it had to go, and I actually bought Mavic Pro. Mavic 2 Pro to go in my Zoom. Whether that was the right thing or not, I don't know. But I did that. So it's going to be good next year. We've got all this stuff coming up. And I think it's going to be a great year for the hobby again. There'll be other stuff coming out. There'll be more. But I think Audi... The... Audi? Fimi. What am I talking about? I think Fimi X8 SE will be a... And second one of them. Whether it'll just be called the Fimi X8. And then another number. Because the SE is a standard edition. Whether they'll make another one of them. I believe they will. And you know, DJ are going to make maybe just the Mavic 3 or they're going to produce another drone and there's a lot of people out there you've got Parrot they said they're coming out of the hobby I don't really know these Nafi's got issues at the minute with dropping out the sky because of back issues when it hits a certain age uh, I'm only reading that on forms I've had no issue with mine I think they've gone out of the ballpark Unique made the Mantis G they need to go out of the ballpark that Mantis G is well overpriced at £649 it's just not worth it um, and to me they're sort of drifting out, they're not going to be a serious competitor. So who will be left? Hudson, the, will this Zeno 2 be a serious competitor? As I expect, you'd have to think it's going to be decent. So all that's lots coming up. Sorry, I am looking at my notes. So, one of the, so a couple of things that I've done. So over the last couple of, well, a month or so, I've opened some Facebook pages up. I've created some Facebook pages. The latest one the other day was being, it's called Anything DJI. You are all welcome to join that. It is a DJI forum. You do not need to own anything DJI, not at all. You can own anything you want, but the chat's going to be about DJI and the videos you're going to watch about DJI. You're welcome to join it. Post what you want, provided it's DJI. Post what you want, ask as many questions as you want, open discussions up, do whatever you want. There is no structure to this page and no restrictions. You can do what you like. Just don't be respectful to each other is all I ask. I also opened up a few weeks ago the Jumper T16 UK page. Again, it's not for Jumper T16 UK owners only. I just call it that because to distinguish it from other people's Jumper T16 pages, you can have anywhere in the world but it is the jumper t16 again same thing let me know your mods you've done let me know comments put on if you've got problems put them on let's see if the people can answer the questions or i can help you out i've had one since april it's been used as a daily driver and the other one i opened up was the dji fpv um system uk site so obviously i've got the dji fpv system i've opened the uk one up for that again similar thing it's not because it's in the uk you can join it wherever you want it's just simply, that's what it's called. Again, you're welcome to join all these. They're on, my, they're on Facebook uh, and they're actually going quite quickly. I'm pleased with that. So one of the questions I get asked, and it's the last thing I really want to talk about, 
is what do I watch? So what YouTubers do I watch? Now, this is sort of, I have a limited number of ones that I watch all the time. Um, and I have some that are drifting and out of. And over the time of watching YouTube and certainly doing this channel, I've learned to who to trust, who not to trust. Uh, if your name's not on here, it doesn't mean I don't trust you, it means I just don't watch your videos as much as I watch of these guys. These guys, they run a name, I watch every single video they do. I never miss one of their videos. Uh, these are predominantly FPV and camera drones. Um, and there's also, at the end of it, I'll tell you a channel I watch that I really love that is nothing to do with any of this. So, these are what I watch. So, I watch Original Dobo. And I watch Original Dobo because the guy's truly honest, 100% frank open with his opinions and I trust him 100%. He gave a great video on the sky the other day with the controller and a lot of other people probably would have said, all right, it's great, it's really good. He didn't, he knocked it, the fact his range wasn't that great. He didn't feel like he was flying it all the time. Look, don't get me wrong, the sky drone looks amazing and he loves it and I think it looks amazing, but it's not for me because I want to be able to fly the drone. So, original Dobo, fantastic channel. QC guy, who I've already mentioned, I'm not gonna give him any more plugs. Idaho Quadcopters, uh, Marcus Crawford does the Idaho Quadcopter channel, he does a lot of stuff on, he seems to buy everything, so if a new drone comes out, Marcus is going to buy it, he hasn't got his Skydio yet, so I do watch that channel all the time, Andy RC, another one I never miss, uh, he's obviously British, uh, he does FPV related content, very, very, very knowledgeable guy, superb, and to be fair, I, I, I cheat and I steal all my pins off him normally, so I hope he, if I get buy a quad, I hope he buys it and I nick his pits because I can't get mine anywhere near as good as this. Uh, Gal Kramer, another one, is FPV uh, oriented and I watch his channel all the time. UAV Futures, I watch Stuart at UAV Futures all the time. He makes me laugh, the channel's funny. He's intelligent, he's an intelligent guy and I, watch, I like watching his flight tests. Nick Burns, he tends to do micros and indoor stuff. The guy can fly amazing. You see, he's watching the videos, see how fast he can fly around his house with a micro. Amazing. Curry Kitten's another guy I watch, another British YouTuber, another FPV, kind of that kind of thing related. And I watch TDR, so 200 reviews. Brian, massive shout out. This guy is amazingly funny. He does not care what he says on video, and I love you for it, Brian. Fantastic. Keep up the great work. And one, the channel that I watch, apart from these that I don't watch a video on, is a guy called ETA Prime and he does stuff like all retro gaming, he converts computers into retro gaming setups, he reviews all the new retro gaming stuff that comes out of Pandora Box. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch his channel. Um, he does all that type of stuff and I'm well into that, so he's another one I watch. So, longer video than I anticipated. Uh, this is going to be my last video I do of this type of thing before Christmas so I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you and all your families. Thanks ever so much for the support again all year round. You've been amazing. I'm closing in on 1 million views. I'm not that far off it now and I've got 3,500 subscribers. I only started the year be uh, a year ago in March last year so brilliant. I've got 18, 19 months I've done something like that and it's going absolutely fantastically for me. And couldn't have done it without you guys on this way so thank you ever so much so i'm now going to go out and have probably my last flight before christmas proper flight because christmas is a busy time obviously and we celebrate it really well in this house so i won't be flying much now between now and christmas i certainly won't be flying over christmas because it's not only christmas it's my little boy's birthday as well uh, in between christmas and new year so i'm now going to go out and fly my phantom four so the final flight i have this year will be the phantom four because I haven't flown it for ages and I love the way it flies and it's actually a half decent day in the UK but once rain's been predicted for the rest of the week so I'm going to make the most of it. Once again, happy Christmas everybody, thank you ever so much and you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.